Okay, so now we're going to learn how to combine and split the text in Tableau using the concatenation operator, the plus and the split function. But as usual, let's understand the concept behind them. Then we're going to practice in Tableau. Let's go. Alright, so now we're going to talk about the concatenations in Tableau. It's very simple. We use for that the plus operator in order to combine multiple text into one text. For example, in our database, we could have the following scenario where we have the first name and the last name separated from each other's using different fields. So we would like to have only one field called the full name. So for example, in order to do that, we can use the plus operator in order to combine the first name Michael with the last name Scott. And at the end result, we're going to get the full name Michael Scott. But now if you check the full name, we would like to have always a separation between the first name and the last name in the output inside the full name. So we usually use a space between them. So we're going to do the same. We're just going to add one plus operator. So we have Michael space Scott. So between Michael and space, we're going to have the plus operator and between space and last name, we're going to have as well another plus operator. So the output is going to be Michael space Scott. So as you can see with the plus operator, we can structure anything we want by combining multiple string values together using the plus. So that's it. This is really easy. Let's go back to Tableau and start practicing. All right, so now we're going to go to the small data source over here and we go to our customers. We would like to have the first name and the last name in the view. And as you can see, those informations are separated in two different fields. So the task says now to create only one field for the customer name, the full name, instead of having two. In order to do that, as usual, we're going to go and create a new calculated fields. We're going to call it full name. Now we need the first part, the first name. And then after that, we're going to have the plus operator. Then we want to have a separator between them as an empty space so we're gonna have it like this and then plus operator the last part gonna be the last name so let's take the last name and put it over here so that's it it's important that the calculation is valid so everything is fine let's hit okay so now as you can see in the data bin we have a new calculated field a new dimension called full name let's check the values we're gonna drag it over here in the rows and as you can see now we have a very nice full name george pips john Steele, and so on it's really simple right so now if you change your mind you would like to have like a dash between those names what we're gonna do we're gonna go and edit it then instead of having the white space over here in the middle we're gonna have the dash so that's it. Let's hit apply. And now we can see in the full name that the first name and the last name are separated with a dash. So it's really simple. Let's take now a quick task. The task says to combine the category and the product using the following rule. As usual, you can pause the video in order to complete the tasks. And once you are done, you can resume it. All right. So now let's check the solution. It's very simple. We're going to go to the products. Let's first see the raw data. So we have the category and the product name. And now we're going to go and create new calculated field. So we're going to call it full product name so the rule starts with the category then we have our plus operator after that the separator gonna be the double point but after the double point we have a white space so i'm just gonna add it over here then we have a plus and we're gonna have the product name let's check the results so the calculation is valid let's click ok and here we have our new dimension let's just drag and drop it over here and check the results just gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can see the results from here and here as well. So as you can see, our product name now starts with the category, double point, then the product name. And that's it. This is how we can work with the concatenations in Tableau. It's very simple, right? So now we're going to learn the exact opposite. So we're going to learn now how to split one field to multiple fields using split. Alright, so now we're going to talk about the split function in Tableau. It's a very important function and a lot of people get confused about it. But I think it's simple. So let's check this example. We have here one field with a lot of informations. So we have here the product name, the product ID and the product code all in one field. And in many situations in the analysis and the visualizations, I would like to split those informations into three fields. So instead of having one field, I would like to have it in three fields. So in order to do that, we can use the split function. And before we learn that, we can do that with the left, right, and mid, but the split function is easier in such a situation. So we want to split this field into the product name, the product ID, and the product code. And in Tableau, we have the following syntax in order to do it. So we have split and it needs three arguments. The first one is the string, the text that we want to split it. So now let's go and check the 
syntax in Tableau. It starts with the keyword split and it needs three arguments. The first one gonna be the string or the field that we want to split. The second one gonna be the delimiter and then the last one, the token number. The output gonna be a string value. So now let's take an example. I would like to split this text and the delimiter gonna be the dash and I would like to have the token number one. So here Tableau needs from you two informations, the delimiter and the token number. So the delimiter is the separator between words. So for example, we have a separator between Canon and the ID using the dash and we have another separator between the ID and the code. So those dashes are the delimiter that splits my text. So Tableau here wants to understand from you how the words are separated inside the text. Now let's move to the next information that is needed the token number. Here as well, Tableau wants to understand which part of informations you are interested in. Is it the first part, the second part, or the last part? So here we have like an ID or token for each piece of information. So the first one gonna has the token number one, the second one, we have token number two, and the last one is the token number three. In this example, we said, I'm interested in the token number one. That means I'm interested in the product name. So the output gonna be Canon. And of course, if you are interested in the product ID in the middle, we could say, okay, I'm interested in the token number two. So if you specify it like this, you will get the product ID. And if you are interested, of course, in the last one in the product code, you can specify the token number three in order to get the product code. So as you can see, once you understand it, it's really easy. We just need to informations, what is the separator between words and which token number you are interested in. So now let's go back to Tableau and start practicing. Alright everyone, so there are three ways on how to split your data inside Tableau. The first one is by creating new calculated field. The second one is automatic split. The third is customized split. So we're gonna start with the first one on how to split your data using new calculated field. We're gonna take the following example. We're gonna stay with the small data source. Let's go to the customers and grab the phones over here. And the phone numbers has a structure. So we have a country code area code and the phone number itself. So now we would like to split those three informations into three new fields. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So we're gonna go as usual and create a new calculated field for the first part for phone country code. So we're gonna start with the split keyword and it need three arguments. The first one gonna be the string that we want to manipulate. So it's gonna be the phone number, I'm going to add it like this. Then the delimiter. The delimiter here is the dash. So as you can see, those stuff are splitted with the dash. So let's just add it over here. Then Tableau needs from me a token number. So the first one going to be the token number one, then two, three, four. So we have four sections and we are interested in the first token number. So the first one. So let's add one. And that's it. As you can see, the calculation is valid. Let's go and hit OK. So now we can see that on our data bin in the data source, we have our new field, the country code. Let's go and grab it to the view and check the result. And with that, we are extracting the first token, the first part of the phone. And with that, we have our country code. Everything is perfect. So now the next step, we would like to go and extract the area code. So the token number two. So now we're going to go and create a new calculated field. But first, I would like to take the old code because we want only to adjust the token number because everything else can stay the same. So let's go and create a new one. We're going to call it phone area code. And then we're going to put our code over here. The same stuff going to stay the phone and as well the dash as separator. Then we want to change only the token number two. So we are speaking about the second part. So let's go and hit OK and check the results. We have here again our new field. So drag and drop it on the view. And as you can see now we are getting, we are splitting yeah, the second part. So we have here 555 and as well over here. So with that, we got the third part from our phone. We have now the country code and as well the area code. And now next we have the following task for you. Create a new field in the data source to extract the phone number part without the country and the area codes. Now you can pause the video in order to complete the task. And once you are done, resume it. All right, so now we're gonna go and create a new calculated field. We're gonna call it phone number and we're gonna have the same script so we have split phone dash but this time we are interested in both token 3 and token 4 so how we can do that in tableau we can add only one token at a time so in order to do that we're gonna go and change this to 3 and since we need both of the informations in one field we're gonna use the plus operator so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here plus 
and then we're gonna add the same code over here but this time for the token number four so with that we are getting both of the tokens in one field so the calculation is valid let's hit okay and as usual we got a new field in our data source so let's check the result over here we can see that now we have the phone numbers in this field so now as you can see the first one is one two three four five six seven and we have it as well over here so we have as well the same phone number but you might say you know what we are missing the dashes right so we can go and add them in our calculated field so let's go and edit it and we just can add new plus operator and between them we're gonna have the dash right so as you can see the calculation is valid let's go and hit okay and with that we got exactly the same structure from the phone so that's it for the first methods on how to split your data using new calculated field you can see from one field we have extracted three new fields so now let's go to the second method where we can split the data using automatic split all right so now let's see how we can do that so we're gonna stay with the small data source this time we need the url so let's take the product image from here drag and drop it in the view and we know that in the url there is a lot of informations and as well we can use the splitter to split the data so now instead of creating manually those calculated fields there is really nice feature in tableau where we can split the data automatically so in order to do that we're gonna go to our field the product name right click on it and here we have the option of transform so we are manipulating the data and here we have two options the split and the custom split so the split is the automatic way wow we got now a lot of new fields in our data source and that's because tableau automatically split the data and as well understood the content of the data so you can see here we have the product image domain then fragment path query schema all those informations are part of the structure of any url so now let's go and check those informations we're going to take for example the domain drag and drop it on the view and as you can see tableau got it correctly right we got now only the domain information from the whole url which is really nice we can take as well the scheme over here and we have the protocols from the start so as you can see tableau got it really correctly some of those fields gonna be empty i think because we don't have it as a part in our url so with that tableau did the automatic split and if you would like to learn how tableau did split it you can find it as well inside this field because it is calculated field so let's see how tableau did split the domain right click on it and go to edit so as we can see here tableau is using two splits in order to get the domain informations the first split is this one so tableau is splitting the protocol from the whole url so the separator gonna be the double point and the two forward slashes and we are taking the token too so we are getting the second part so once we get the second part it's gonna be really easy the separator as you can see is the forward slash so we want to split now with the forward slash and we would like to get only the first part it's really easy you can go and try it yourself so that's it let's click ok so with that tableau is in some cases not in all cases is smart enough to split your data into new fields automatically so that's it for this so the automatic split next we're gonna see the customized split okay so we're gonna stay with the small data source and we're gonna go to the customers again here we want to split the phones using the custom split so let's bring it to the view and then in order to customize the split we're gonna go to the data pane on the field that we want to manipulate right click on it and then here we have transform before we have the automatic split this time we are interested in the custom split so let's go inside and here we're gonna get a new window in order to customize the split and it's like the calculations the syntax Tableau needs from us two informations first the separator second what do you want exactly to get so the token numbers the first one the separator or the delimiter in this example gonna be the dash all those informations are split with the dashes so let's go and enter a dash the second information we have the following options so split off and here we have three options do you want the first part the last part or everything and here it depends on what do you want if you want to split everything you want for each piece of information new fields you're gonna go with the option all so now let's say that you are interested only in two informations the country code and the area code the rest you are not interested to have it in the data source so in order to get the first two parts we're gonna go over here and select first and here you can specify two so we are interested in the first two columns and the first two informations from the left side but now let's say that you are interested in the last two parts so you would like to get two fields for the last two informations so what you're gonna do you're gonna go over here and select last and as well select two so with that you are specifying for tableau what do you want exactly to get as a result how many fields from the start from the end or everything so in this example i'm interested to get everything so we're gonna go with the option all and that's it let's go and hit okay 
So once we do that, Tableau gonna go and create a lot of new fields. So Tableau did manage to split the phone number into four parts. So let's go and check those informations, drag and drop it over here on the rows. And as you can see, the first part gonna be the country code. The second one gonna be the area code. And then Tableau split those two informations into two fields. So here it's not like the second method where we are blindly automatically splitting everything. Here we are specifying for Tableau a few rules and then Tableau gonna go and as well automatically split the data to get better quality in the field. And of course, if you are interested on in how Tableau did the split, we can always go to the data pane. All those informations are calculated fields and we can go inside them and check the code. So we can go over here and do edit. And as you can see, the delimiter is the dash and Tableau get it as a first token in order to get the country code. All right, guys. So that says those are the three methods on how to split the data inside your data source. They are really useful in order to generate new informations and split those complex structures inside the original data source into new structures for the analysis and the visualizations. All right, everyone, so that's it. This is how you combine and split the text in Tableau. Next, we're gonna start talking about the last string function in Tableau, the replace. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.